Well, this should be fun. Got load number seven from Chip Drop and had them drop it off right in my backyard. So I don't even have to drive up to the front anymore. Just a little bit of a wiggle wiggle of the trailer from the pile to where it's going over here. Let's take a look. So there we go. He dropped it right there. Nice and easy for me to get to. Nice big pile, about the same size as normal. And he may have covered up some of my beans. Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure they're in there somewhere. Might get back down to them. So in between all these little raindrops, I'm going to start loading up the trailer over here and just back it up right here, load it up, and then back it right into there. Almost seems like it's not worth the trouble to move it. 50 feet. I was really tempted to just go ahead and have him drop the pile right back here behind me, but I decided that instead I wanted to make sure I had the paper down. I didn't want to go without the paper here just because this grass is starting to grow. Even though the grass hadn't started growing there, it, it definitely is here. Almost seems like a waste of perfectly bad grass that I'll then have to mow later. Nope, it's going. It's bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dodge the raindrops, get this pile put out, and I'll give you a show of it here in just a second. Stick around. And away we go. I'm doing this latest trip just a little bit differently. First of all, it's in the backyard, so it's a lot easier to uh, just kind of squiggle it from one spot to the other. I thought it was gonna be a bit irritating, but it's actually kind of nice to have everything right here close in the backyard. And I'm getting much better with my reverse. I gotta move those brakes. So what I've been doing is putting bricks down to hold the paper, putting the first load on, and then running over the first load, taking it right, tires right to the end, out there, set the parking brake, and then uh, come around here and look at this back end of this trailer with me. Got the truck bed and loader, and I'm just using a breaker bar right here. I've welded on impact socket right here to make this uh, turning a whole lot easier. The handle that came with it, let me show you that. So the handle that came with it looks kind of like this. There's a little slot for it to fit in. Problem is it's meant for a truck bed. So it only comes down so far before then you have to take it out, move it around, and then make another crank. And when you're moving this thing a half crank at a time, the whole thing, it just takes forever. So. I welded on a socket right here. I think it's a half inch drive. And I got the, the old rusty trusty Husky breaker bar. It's a little bit shorter. It allows you to, let's see, I just stick this thing in here and I can go ahead and crank and spin it around. <sighs> but I don't like doing hard work, so Got a drill, put it on low gear, have an adapter here for the socket, and we can just put this thing in here, put some firm pressure down, and just pull the trigger. So much quicker and easier. Then I can just hop in the cart, pull it forward just a pinch, grab a broom. I like the one with the adjustable handle, that way you can make it as short or as long as you want and it just doesn't quite cover all the way to the edges that uh, bed unloader so just sweep out the excess and just sweep this out it's just a little strip on the side that's probably good enough it doesn't have to be clean with this tarp in here it all slides pretty easily. And then it's ready to go for the next trip. I've got a little clip that I hold right here. And I just take this clip and put the, a piece of the tarp and a piece of the uh, truck bed unloader right there. It just holds it nice and pretty. Then it doesn't slide out or 
shift. Now I can just take the uh, bow, bow rake, uh, garden rake, whatever you want to call this thing. And spread it out. Now, once we get done spreading all this out and it's all edge to edge, completely done, we'll have to come back through here, squish this down a little bit, make sure it's nice and level. And then I've got another rake, one of those really big landscaping rakes. We're gonna make it all nice and level and smooth-ish. As smooth as I can get anyway. Might be pretty flat for a white guy, but I am not smooth. And hey, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I do have a second channel here where I talk about the Bentelli cart and other stuff that I do in my garage. So if you think this is interesting, I've got a second channel right here called Often Wrong Paradigm, which is about what I do in my garage. You can go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and back this up and be right back with you. I do think I'm getting better with my backup game. Definitely getting better. Well, I've been working pretty good all morning. The sun finally came out. Uh, I was worried about getting the cameras out in the rain. Yes, I was working and doing this uh, in the nice little sprinklies that we had. And I've gotten the pile down too. Let me see if I can back it up just a little bit. Yeah, about uh, that much. That's all that's left. And I'm hoping that I can get this last little bit covered with what I have left. Uh, should be, should be good. That's maybe another three loads there, another load or two here. I might be able to get that out of that pile. Okay, I'm a little, little bit worried. Oh man, this just kind of figures. So, got about this far with the paper and I ran out. So I'm gonna go ahead and scavenge around, see if I can find enough cardboard or Ooh, leaf bags. I got some leaf bags. I could uh, cut those open and use those, but I just need to cover up that last little bit of grass right there. I am pretty sure I have enough of the wood chips to get it kind of covered. I went ahead and contacted my, my uh, mulch guy, see if he can drop off another load either today or maybe early next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig around in the garage and see what I can find to cover up this last little bit of grass. And how's Mama Duck doing today? Hello, Mama Duck. How you doing today? I think the uh, the girls want to call her Miss Quackers. It's kind of cute. Yep, just hanging out on those eggs. And I don't know how this works out, but I am somehow cardboardless. Uh, I know the Amazon truck has been here countless times this week, but yep, if nothing else, right there, I've got some leaf bags. I can just sacrifice those leaf bags, cut those up, and use those to cover. Okay, it seems kind of like a waste to be uh, tearing up these lawn bags, but if by chance, oh, I need those. Ah. Okay, so if by chance you're cruising around your neighborhood and you see uh, some neighbors that are putting out... So if by chance you're cruising around your neighborhood and you see uh, one of your neighbors has like 10, 15, 20 bags of like these nice and big leaf bags and you see that they've got maple trees, oak trees, pine trees, whatever, and that they've been so nice to collect up all their yard waste and put them in these bags and set them on the street, that is public property as far as I'm concerned. So. You wouldn't even need to buy your own lawn, lawn and leaf bags if uh, it's already pre-bagged. Take the, uh, the bag, empty out the contents, cut it up like I'm going to show you here in a second, and then just cover the bag back up with its contents. And as you keep on going on, uh, yeah, it's free mulch, free paper, and it's what I used over here on this whole area and on the other side of the yard. And as I dig through here, this is last year's uh, leaf mulch that this was probably at least six, eight inches deep and it's all broken down to pretty much nothing, which is why it now needs a layer of fresh mulch on it. And as you can see, very little weeds, uh, a couple over there, some few over here, but good mulch, no weeds. So what I'm gonna do is open up the bag in the most fun way possible. There we go, don't get dizzy. I'm gonna cut down the side. Right there and that's going to leave a short side to my right and a long side to the left i'm just going to cut down this one short side to that corner and then i'm going to cut down the long side and then the short side 
as long as it doesn't blow away and all the wind we just happened to get suddenly. You can then lay these down uh, with some stones or rocks on them to hold them down. Or if you've got another bag of mulch, you can just go ahead and drop it down right there. Hang on a second, let me grab another stone. It's a good thing I got a lot of these things laying around. And we can just overlap them and start setting stones down. And I think that looks pretty close to straight to where it's going. And hopefully I've got enough bags. I think there's another three more. I may need some of those little pieces of cardboard now to help fill in the last little bit. But if it doesn't completely all get covered up, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, if that wasn't enough of a fun workout, whew, I'm gonna grab this little roller full of water and smash these things flat and just kind of get it smoothed out real nice. Kind of compress everything down. Yeah, this is gonna take a minute also, so be right back once it's all smashed down. And of course, if you have the ability to make this a lot easier on yourself, I would definitely do it. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Now that we got it all smoothed out, rolled out, raked out, uh, we need to make this look a bit prettier because this looks a bit mm, trashy, honestly. So let's get this cleaned up and then you can see, oh, maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. Uh, we got a nice little uh, threshold board right here. So let me get rid of this trash and I'll show you that. Now you can easily use razor blade, scissors, you know, whichever one you're comfortable with. I mean, obviously scissors are, you know, cut. That's kind of, you know, boring, whatever. I'm gonna go just with the razor blade. That way I can stick it in real close to the rocks and just trim this off. And this will eventually rot and break down and the worms will eat it. It'll be good worm food. And then just pulls right off and leaves a nice pretty edge. Let's get this all cleaned up. Okay, now that we've got this nice and pretty and cleaned up, you can see we've got this little threshold going right here. And as you step back, you'll see eventually there's gonna be this big open area right here. I wanna make sure that I can drive my garden tractor or the golf cart or whatever I need to back here. So that gives me a nice low spot to drive up in there. And over here, we're going to be putting uh, the same little wood trim that's right there, the you know, those wood timbers, the, the outdoor timbers. Uh, I got a bunch of those left over that were going all the way down this line and across, and I'm just going to trim up some and put them right here at the corner, run them over to the th threshold. Uh, and that's what this is for. Uh, by the way, that's what this is for. So this is a little, uh, little, not little, 100 yard tape measure. So I'm gonna string this out and make sure I get a nice straight line. Easiest way to do this is to grab just a little nail. If you have one of these, uh, I think these are, 10 inch, let me think. Yeah, I think it's a 10 inch nail. I think it's a 10 inch tile, 10 inch nail. Uh, 10 inch nail, stick it in. Then grab the little loopy part and hook it on. Something like that. And once that's hooked up, just walk it right on out. Do, 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 do. And now that I'm down here to the end point, we're just gonna pull that thing nice and tight and hope that wind doesn't just blow it all over the place. But you can see, pull it tight, set it down nice and gentle-like. Oop, got a little flabby here. There we go, straighten that out, don't trip over everything. And there we go, there's our straight-ish line. Those, bri those bricks down there at the end uh, may need to get adjusted a little bit. But there's our line, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find a helper, start putting some wood timbers there. Does that look remotely straight? Yeah, that doesn't look too half bad for my work anyway. It's a little crooked. I'm gonna need to, yay. So the good news is I don't have any shortage of, you know, landscape timbers laying around. Uh, let me see what I can do to fix that up a little bit and finish that little piece right there. Yeah, I might need to straighten that up just a little bit. So I'm trying something a little risky here. I'm trying to eyeball this at an angle, and I'm just really hoping that I hit the right spot. If not, I can just, 
you know, either kick it down a little bit or kick it back a little bit, it'll be fine. Let's see how it looks. Hey, that's not too bad. Slid right in place. Now, I forgot to mention this little threshold board that we have right here. This is uh, some of that plastic deck boarding. Uh, I, I think it's about $2 a foot if you go to Lowe's Home Depot. It's just pla plastic decking material. That way, it holds up to weather real nice. Never have to replace it, hopefully. And I think it looks pretty nice with everything. Hmm. Now, what are the chances that I could hit that angle again? Hmm. Let's just try and eyeball this thing again. Worked kind of well the first time. Just line your eye up the blade and go for it. And moment of truth. How close did I get? Bring it in close. How close did I get? Holy crap. I can't believe that's my work. That is spot on. I will never do that again. I'm not sure I'd even want to try it again. Whew, all right. Huh, besides so clean up. Oh, hey, we need to dress that up. Let's do that. Oh, heh, razor blade. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I would lose my own head if it weren't screwed on so tight. Wow, we were just making a big old mess. All right, let me clean this up. I'll be right back with you. Okay, now the fun part. Uh, I do not have enough chips to pretty this up and shove these all the way up against here because I want them filled all the way to the top, just like the log in, what was that movie? Oh, I almost thought about it. Uh, you know, the, the, the woodland animals, they got to fill the log all the way to the top. Madagascar? No, it wasn't Madagascar. It wasn't open season. Wait, open season? No. No, it wasn't open season. It was one with the raccoon. Over the hedge. It was over the hedge. You got to fill the, the log all the way to the top. Okay. I want that filled all the way to the top and all the way across. I'm wondering, crazy idea. I wonder if the wood chip guy, if he would just back his truck in here and just dump the pile of wood chips right here for me. And then I could just spread them around. That would be a whole lot quicker and easier. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this spread out and prettied up and then give you a one final uh, last big hurrah before this thing's all done. So just so you can see what it all looks like before we get it all filled up. Be right back. Ooh, and look at the pretty clouds. This is gonna end up being a fun work day. Started in the rain, may as well end it in the rain. Well, it looks like the shadows are getting long. Ah, this looks so much better. Yeah, I don't have any more trees to plant here just yet. I need to get another uh, loquat, maybe another fig. Ooh, or a persimmon, possibly to replace that one. Or some citrus, but we've got this nice, big, whoo, big area uh but i think we're gonna end up putting a nice eight by eight pergola right here in this area maybe get one of those uh what do you call them cattle fence arch things where we're gonna plant some things maybe grow some vines at it i don't know there's lots of ideas that we've been bouncing around here uh but yeah if you like the videos make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, like the video if you do we're gonna keep going here with all of this getting this all prettied up again and I've got chip drop number eight coming up. He's going to drop it right here in my backyard again. And I get to do this again because I filled it up. I covered it up, but this is not filled up enough. This is only maybe three to four inches in most spots. And I want this thing six, 10 inches deep. So we get to do all this again, or I get to do this all again. And if you're lucky enough to be one of my subscribers, you'll get notified of it. And you get to watch me do yet another chip drop. But I'm going to get some trees. I'm going to make it a lot more interesting the next time rather than just uh, what we're doing here. Although I do kind of like how pretty it's become. I really do like how this is uh, coming along. It does look a lot better. And 
that looks really nice. It's a little bumped up there at the corner, but that, that right there, that'll settle down. This one right here, it hasn't quite settled down yet. This one over here has already settled down just a bit, squished in, but that is gonna look really nice. Get a little thingy over here, some more thingies popping up over there. Yeah, lots of green stuff. We like green stuff. And fruit trees, we like fruit trees. So stick around and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time for fun. Lots of fun, we're gonna have lots of fun.